Oh, y'all want to see the ocean? This is the view out my window every morning while I'm here. And you see that building over there? I'm playing a little game with myself to see uh, when we can see a naked person walk up to the window. <laughs> So far, I haven't seen anybody but the window washer guys. See him out there on the walkway? So, here's your little dose of the Florida sunshine for today. I know it is still cold. I don't think it's snowing in Knoxville right now, but it is cold. So, here's a little dash of summer for you. It is 75 degrees out there. All right. Let me get started over here. Prop you up. Hey, everybody. See if I can get this going. Okay, so today's uh, real estate phrase, um, we talked about ARV yesterday, and I can talk more about that um, in coaching, and I think I may even do a webinar just on ARV, because a lot of people have questions about ARV. So let me introduce myself. My name is Whitney Nicely East, and the camera's a squidge bit crooked there. That's good. My name is Whitney Nicely East, and I am the real estate broker for Whitney Buys Houses. We're a real estate firm in Tennessee and in Georgia. I'm also the principal auctioneer for Nicely Done Auctions. We're in Tennessee now and soon to be in Georgia. So I do real estate all the time. My auctions are all real estate, all online. I just do real estate. I don't sell the personal property stuff. Um, at one point, I thought I was going to sell dump trucks and yellow iron at auction, but I haven't done that. So um, I am going to do a webinar on ARV, and I don't promise to do it before the end of February because I'm in Florida on vacation <laughs> with my family. Uh, we're looking at houses. I bought a house yesterday in Tennessee, so I am working, but we're having some fun too. So today's topic is cash flow, and cash flow is literally the name of the game in real estate investing. If you are not cash flowing, you are losing money, and depending on your strategy, it may be that you want to lose money on paper. Nobody wants to lose money in their pocket, but sometimes it's okay to lose money on paper. Um, one of my worst losing money situations. My brother and I bought a house on an online auction. It was in a war zone. I thought it would be okay. We went ahead and bought it. We bought it for 15000 And after we bought it, we were working over there. And I got to a point after about the second day, I was over there meeting contractors and this and that and the other. After the second day of being on the house, after we bought the house, I, I was scared. I was, I was literally afraid that somebody was going to rob me or kidnap me or shoot me. or I mean, I was literally afraid to be over there by myself. So I got to a point where I wouldn't go over there. I wouldn't even stop my car if my contractors weren't there yet. So that is a war zone. That is somewhere that I do not want you to buy unless you are ready to be in that kind of position by yourself. Um, you know, my brother went over there. He never felt threatened. He never felt like he was in any kind of danger. I don't know, but all my senses went crazy when I was over there. So I talked to him and I said, look, man, we've got to sell this house. We are not going to make any money on it. I, I tried for like a month to sell it. Couldn't get anybody to buy it. Couldn't get any of the We Buy Houses people to buy it. And that was before I was one of those We Buy Houses people. And now looking back on it, I wish I'd kept it because I could have rented it. I could have done a rent to own on it. I could have done all sorts of things, but I, I didn't have the knowledge at that point to know what to do with it. So I, I talked to my brother. I told him I was afraid and whatever, and he agreed. We put it back up on the next online auction for real estate and we lost money. The cash, the cash flow was just not there. We lost money. In total, we bought it for $15,000 and some change. I sold it for $11,000 and some change. And when Tyler, my brother, and I walked out of the closing, we high-fived each other because we'd lost money. But I hadn't gotten robbed. I hadn't gotten kidnapped. I was safe, and we were done with that mess. And that is, I think, to, to today, that is the only property that I've lost money on. Everything else has cash flow just... I mean, even just $100 a month, it is cash flowed, but it is done, it, that, I mean, even now, thinking about that house, I, I can't, I can't stand it, I just can't stand it, so, cash flow is important, your safety is also important, so that was a side tangent, um, okay, talking about cash flow, now, when I buy properties, say, 
say I get a, a house and, okay, we'll take my new market house. I get a house and I work out with a seller that I'm going to pay $500 a month. Well, I'm not going to let somebody move into it unless they're paying me eight or eight fifty or nine hundred a month, so that I cash flow three or four hundred dollars a month. Now I can use that three or four hundred dollars actually on the new market house. Let's use real numbers. I think I get eight fifty for the new market house, so I get three fifty a month cash flow. Cash flow, okay? Cash flow is the extra money that you make without having to clock into a job. Okay, so on the new market house, my payment is five hundred, and that does not include taxes and insurance. So I have to compensate for that. So I could use a hundred of my eight fifty towards uh, taxes and insurance every month. That's fine. I'm still cash flowing two fifty. Oh, sorry. Is there a reconnect issue? I'm sorry guys, I have the Wi-Fi on. You think it's on my side? I have the Wi-Fi on. I hope the recording is coming through. Maybe you can watch it on the playback. I don't know. Okay, let's keep going on cash flow though, in case you can connect. Okay, so for the cash flow, after I pay the taxes and insurance, I'm cash flowing, I'm clearing $200 to $250 every month, and that can go straight into my pocket, okay? And that's what you want to do. Say I have 10 houses and I'm cash flowing $200 on average on each house, that's $2,000 a month that comes into my bank account that I don't have to clock in to get. So, I mean, $2,000 a month, some people, that would be enough that they could stay home and use that money to live on until they could get another one or until you could get 20 houses cash flow in between a hundred or two hundred dollars a month that's looking more like four thousand dollars a month that'll totally work 